we've seen huge effects of obesity on asthma. Patients who are obese don't do as well. They don't respond to drugs as well. Um, they're very difficult to deal with in the clinic. There's probably a couple of different phenotypes, those that are allergic, those that aren't. And it's a growing problem because obesity is a growing problem. Basically, this was a part of the large European Community Respiratory Health Survey cohort, uh, where we took around 16,000 population uh, from 11 European countries, as well as in Australia, and uh, we tested whether the asthmatics developed obesity in, in the follow-up visits because of asthma at the previous visit. So, what we found that in compared to the non-asthmatics, the asthmatics were prone to develop obesity and that the rate was higher among the asthmatics. This study is really important and it's important because we know nothing about the natural history of asthma. We know lots about the natural history of cardiovascular disease, cancer, very little about asthma. So this is a long-term follow-up over decades. It's looking at the in incident increase of obesity in asthmatics, which had never been studied before. So in Vermont, what we see from health data from the health department of Vermont is that asthmatics are much more obese than people without asthma. Now the question is, are they obese and then get asthma? Because being obese causes you to breathe at lower lung volumes and gives you symptoms like asthma. Or what this study is looking at is once you have asthma, do you then become obese? What I can say about the potential clinical implication of that study is that the clinicians must be vigilant about how these things are going and whether, the, whether their patients are gaining weight at the follow-up. Because probably the weight management is not done very effectively among the asthmatics. So that is the very intriguing feature that the, that the clinicians should look up to. The other interesting finding here is that that's much more uh, prominent in people who have late onset asthma, not with people at early onset. And we now understand that early and late onset asthma is a very different beast that we're dealing with.